At the time of recording this video, there is one week left for Hacktoberfest, and I thought we'd have a bit of fun, maybe do some reviews. Not the traditional code reviews we do on a daily basis, but I thought maybe these types of ones, the ones that are quite funny and can make us laugh and don't usually happen all year round, usually happen during Hacktoberfest. And in the last one or two days to Hacktoberfest, the end of October, people will raise some interesting pull requests just to get a t-shirt. Let's uh, let's have a look. So this um, Twitter account is actually quite funny. So that's from a couple of years ago. So let's uh, skip over that one. It's quite interesting that Copilot is learning bad habits from people. So hopefully this doesn't continue, but it's actually quite interesting. This one. We can't see the code, but they've taken a photo of their screen, which I really usually don't like. But this is quite funny. They've got a cartoon character on there. They've obviously done something for Instagram or something like that. Added some white space for better code view. I mean, sometimes white space is good, but I'm guessing in this situation, probably not so much. This one made me laugh because it's a specific file format that is needed. <laughs> They've tried to add kind of markdown lists to it, which generally would be quite good if it wasn't a specific file needed in the project. Let me just grab a Halloween drink before we go on to the next one. So next one that's uh, come up, let's have a look. It actually got merged. So although they're kind of complaining about it, they still merged it. Not sure if they're trying to get twice the content out of that. It was on the left, as you can see, a collaboration and they've changed it to a collaboration of. Kind of reads better, I guess that's why they merged it. I don't know why they're kind of complaining it and tagging this account. These ones happen quite a lot, not so much this year. Um, I love open source, you know, I think it's great where everyone collaborates, but some people do it just for a t-shirt and this is just for a t-shirt. Architecture for these software. Well, it is about software We're on GitHub. It's in the repo, it's in the project. So I think that's kind of not great. Not sure what the change down here is. Oh, okay, they have license. They have removed the license and broke a bracket. So, but it's a lock file. You wouldn't change that manually. So that's also quite an interesting one. Not sure what happened there. Either way, this has been closed and hopefully marked as invalid or spam. This is going back to the beginning of October. So there hasn't been that much actually. So that's actually really good. I think everyone has done a great job in uh, making sure it's been you know, high quality this year. We've only seen a handful of, of tweets from today as it is the, I don't know what it is, the 24th of October, back to the 4th. So in 20 days, we've only seen a handful, which I think is great. And yeah, this one, you know, kind of 0.6, thank you. Uh, sometimes it is nice to say thank you, but not in the prerequisites section, I don't think. <laughs> So let's have a look at this one. This one I actually find a bit interesting. They have actually blurred out the names, which is quite thoughtful. They've closed it. They probably should have left a comment as to why they closed it. Even if it is a spammy kind of pull request, it's important to say that. Like some people don't realize, like everyone's scale of what spam is for it, be it in Discord, be it on GitHub, is just very different. So I think it's important to comment and feedback to people. I don't know what these changes were. It is interesting. I think we could find it because you've got the original repo here. We've got the name of the original repo. We probably could find the fork that had that uh, profile picture. I'm not gonna do that. I haven't got time for that, but still they've made an effort to, to try and, and hide the person's identity, which I think is very, very thoughtful. If only the person contributing was as thoughtful <laughs> with their spam and notifications. They probably DM'd you as well on Twitter, uh, Slack, Discord, LinkedIn to say, please, merge my uh, pull request. And I, they didn't tag you at least, so that's uh, that's pretty good. The amount of notifications I get for one uh, pull request is a lot. This is quite funny from Captain. Captain is great. Um, we've geeked out some Twitter spaces together, but this is quite interesting. Uh, why didn't you all fix the typos on the 30th of September? It's true, a lot of people were holding off. They were finding stuff before October started and then were holding off until October started. I would have recommended people practice before October starts on the smaller pull request that might be kind of not spammy, but a bit lower quality. And then in October, you've made some friends in that open source project and you've uh, got used to the workflow and all those sorts of things and then do some more challenging ones. 
Don't get me wrong, it's really a great way to get to know a project in the community by making typo fixes. Like if you see any of my projects, by all means, please fix any typos. I really welcome those um, for so many reasons. I always say on Twitter spaces and live streams and videos all the time. but do them consistently and then start adding more and more value. Yes, you might start off by fixing a typo, but later on you go through the documentation. Are there any steps missing? Could you add some screenshots? Could you, you know, do more? Could you do translation? Then could you add automated testing? Then could you fix a bug? Could you do things that are non-code related? For example, like go through the backlog. Are there any duplicates? Can you verify a bug exists or doesn't exist with your operating system, browser, version of Node, PHP, Python, whatever is being used in the project? That is all adding value. And now we're into 2021. So um, that wasn't too bad. What has your experience been during Hacktoberfest? Has it been good? Has it been bad? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really interested to know what your experience has been. Yes, things could have been missed off in this Twitter account. But from what I've seen from the communities that I'm in, in Eddie Hub and other communities and on Twitter, I really think this year has been an improvement over the previous year. And I'm sure next year will be even better. I just really hope that everyone who got involved during Hacktoberfest for open source continue because the benefit to them is massive. It's a great way to upskill faster, get real world project experience and also grow your network. Why do people worry about how to negotiate when companies negotiate them down? Get involved in open source, get companies to come to you, therefore you're on the right foot, on the correct foot, not necessarily your right foot, could be your left, but on the correct foot and you have more of the power and control and they can negotiate up. Yes, I said up. So just continue with that. If you take one thing away from this video is please continue after Hacktoberfest, after October. It is for your own benefit. Oh shit, I almost spilt my drink. It's okay, almost done. I'll see you in Eddie Hub Discord. Let's geek out on open source. Link in the description below.